So IRS recently released a plan that they intend to require banks to report the total amount of deposits you as an individual receive. Now that kind of smells a little bit of you know, violation of privacy that you are, you know, you should be entitled to. So for instance, if you're a business owner and you get a million dollars of money coming into your bank account, but you're only reporting $600,000 of income, that could lead potentially to an IRS audit because IRS is going to want to know why you only reported 600,000, but in your bank account, you received a million. And there's many reasons to explain that. You might have non-reimbursable, or I'm sorry, non-income items that are coming in. You might have taken money from a credit line, a loan from somewhere, uh, transferred money between accounts. There's multiple explanations for why money coming into your bank account, whether business or personal, is not income. So the risk is it could lead to additional audits and basically violation of your privacy. Uh, in an audit, we currently actually, when a client is being audited, we currently do a bank deposit analysis, which is essentially what this is. We'll add up the total deposits for the year, look at the total amount of money that's going out of the account, and compare that to the tax return. And if they're off, we'll go back to the client and ask them to justify whether each deposit is income or not income. IRIS will do that automatically in audit. But certainly that shouldn't be done on a day-by-day -day level for all Americans who have bank accounts in the U.S. I'm John Malakowski. Hope this information is useful.